What up, mama? Rodriguez gang. We about to get we about to get this popping. Blue, what up? Go jam for a minute. She wanna fuck with the She wanna fuck with the Real quick. What's going on? Everybody, what's going on? You uh, don't forget to go get that mixtape, Rodriguez Gang. you go get that mixtape preloaded, hosted by DJ Chase. Know me, the singles out now. Uh, just dropped a nice joint on Benny the Butcher's mixtape. Everything is on my on my bio. All the links is on my bio. New video out, Choteando with my man Gran Figura. Shout out to all the fucking music. They just threw that up there. I'm gonna cut you in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Rose. Just waiting for my man Sam Scarfo to jump in here. We're gonna have a nice talk. Mark. For my fan, I need to have the fan on. I need to have the fan on. Now, man, it's gonna be good. Y'all can hear me, right? Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Come on, man. Y'all gotta let me know. Y'all gotta let me know. My boy Will, what up? Everybody joining in. Let me send Sam Scott. Let me hear, let me let me send Sam Scott a joint. Chulo, what up? Lalo, que lo que? We got Mexico in the house, man. Saludos, Mexico. Prime, Prime Davis. The one and only. Good evening, gorgeous. Uh, I'm just waiting for my man, Sam Scarford. There you go. There you go. I was about to go get my uh, my Red Bull and all that, but we ain't even doing that. Send that send that request, my bro. We're going to talk some shit. I'm only having dope niggas on this. I'm only having dope niggas on this live right here. Like, this is... If y'all niggas know what this uh, live is about, we only talking to the people who was out there putting that rap shit, that pain in, in the streets. You know what I'm saying? People that was out there um, battling, uh, you know, battling before the DVD era, before the URL, before the King of the Die. And this is in no way taking shots at nobody. This is just, you know, I just feel like a lot of people don't get the shine that they deserve. Because, you know, everything, everything, you know, the URL and everything just took the spotlight, you know what I'm saying, from the niggas that really put in that work. That probably don't do the battle thing anymore. You know what I mean? Hold on, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me, let me send my man Sam Scott that request. Bear with me, y'all. So, you know. What's yeah. good? What's good? What's up, <laughs> my boy? How you? What's the word? What's the word? You sometimes me, all the time us, baby. What's going on with you? Nah, man, man. We just, uh, same old grind, same old thing, man. We don't never stop. I know you was bugging when I hit you up, like, what? Like, this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> It happens sometimes. It definitely happens sometimes. Some you people remember. Let me tell you something, yo. Um, hmm? We're going back. We're going back about a good, almost 20 years, right? Um, yeah, yeah, years, definitely. Like, 03, 04. And I remember you. You was. I was always saying to myself, I hope I don't got to battle this nigga ever. <laughs> so, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. I knew that. you was on your shit, my nigga. And I knew you was an elite because every time you went in there, 
you was putting paper down. I'm like, yo, this nigga's talking bands. And I'm like, nah, I ain't ready for all that yet, man. Like, yo, so I'm coming in there with the team. Like, yo, we coming in here to do niggas filthy. Like, we ain't got, we ain't got that bread up just like that. You know what I'm saying? But, um. That was the best way to get noticed. Yeah, that was the best way to get noticed. Way. You did it the right way, right? So, real quick, right? Walk me through it. So, you from originally from where? Jersey? I'm originally from New York. I moved in, I'm like a I'm like a transplant. I moved there when I was like in eighth grade, Jersey. Oh, okay, okay. What part of New York? Brooklyn, Queens too. Brooklyn, Queens. Oh, so you Brooklyn, Queens? All right, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, all right. So Brooklyn, Queens, boom. Then uh, because everybody was thinking you was Jersey, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I represent Jersey all day, though. That's 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 definitely like. That's why I say I'm like a transplant. So like, let's say I got signed when I was 24. So like, I'm like, I moved there when I was 13. So it's like yeah, both. 24. Wow. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I'm lying. 26. <laughs> One of my favorite favorite battle rappers of all time. And let me tell oh, you why that holds so much weight. Look at the niggas is out now. Yeah. Yes. It's, it, 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 the the battle thing really like it, it really turned into like a real like it blossomed into a real nice tree like it's it's like it's, I mean for what it turned into it's crazy. Wall Street Ten. All right, so check this out. Let's walk through it real quick. So you was always battling as a youngin, or like where did where did you start putting that type of uh, pain in in the battle? Uh, battling. Um. Uh, um. Yeah, I guess so. Cause you know I come from that. I come from that era where it's like everybody was a battle rapper, kind of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely, um, I definitely, uh, I definitely could say, yeah, I, I, I somewhat was a battle rapper, somewhat, but I, I, it wasn't, it wasn't the art form that it is today. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was more like, you know, we just going, we, we going to slap this pool table and see who got the best bars. And it, it was, was tougher before or now. Uh. I think it's um, I think it was tougher. I think it's tougher now because now it's more of a performance. Now it's more of a um, you know, the performance I think naturally comes with a battle rapper, but but now right. it's more performance. It's more, it's it's more. It's, it's it's not just who got the best thirty-two bars and we just gonna just see it. It's a lot more to it. Like you know what I mean? I think it's a catch twenty-two. Back then, you went to the Fight Club, you ain't know who you was battling. It was like. Had them bars ready, cause you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, say today they tell you, Yo, Sam Scar, you battling such and such in December. Yeah, so, so you could do all this homework and. Wow. You could do. So it's still not saying that that's easy, but you got to deliver. You got to be up there for nine minutes. Like you're not. Yeah, you got to. Greatest nine minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah, you definitely got to put everything you got to put into in sixty seconds. In the in fight. 60 one. In the fight club, you got to put it together in 60 seconds. You can't, you can't, you don't got the three minutes to really, to put together a whole performance. You know what I'm saying? I, I will say that. So, you ever, and, and I know in the streets you put, so you had your battles in the streets too, like off the fight club. Yeah, for sure. For sure. A lot of people don't know about Cassidy before. A lot of people don't know that. He probably, he probably don't even remember that. But nah, that was nah, when nah, it was. Nah, 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 nah. But Bro, that's part of. Walk me through that. Where was this? Who was there? Because I know Cassidy and, and the team pretty good. So All right, so I'll say this. Like, he probably won't remember me because at that time, I weighed almost 300 pounds. But it was it, this was like around 2000. This maybe this might have been 99. This might have been around the time when right before he got – right right around the time he got signed and they was like – and he, like, you never really heard him before. Like, you know what I'm saying? So they was, like, riding him around and he would be battling people. So I knew an engineer who knew me. He told me to come to Harlem to battle him. And I did. I came to Harlem. I battled him. I ain't going to lie. I lost that battle. I wasn't ready. I wasn't really. Like, he had a whole clip of battle rhymes ready to go. Like, this nigga wasn't, wasn't like, he was just ready. I was more like just spitting the reps I had. Like, it wasn't really the off form just yet. But I will say that he really come from that. Like, he had his crew with him, Larceny fam. I had, my, I had a couple of my crew members with me. And right. it was it was it was dope. It was probably it was probably like a hundred people in front of Apollo when we did that shit. Oh, right in front of Apollo. Who was that? D Y. 
Uh, I wouldn't even remember. I couldn't. I wouldn't even remember, yo. I would, like, I if they was, I don't. I didn't know they faced back then. If they was. It was a long. No, no, no. Uh, it was a long. It wasn't just me and him, no. It was me, him, and he had he had a crew back then. So it was me, him, and his, he had his two members of his crew, and I had one dude with me, and we would just kept going back and forth, 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 back and forth. But that kind of like woke me up to let me know that like um, like, yo, when 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 it's, when you go when you be out in the street and it's gonna be a battle or it's gonna be a bunch of niggas rapping. You gotta be ready. If you're not ready for that, that's like the the biggest wake up call I ever had in my life. I got slapped in the face with reality, right? There. Look what that turned you into, though. That turned you yeah, into it definitely changed my life. It changed my life. Like so, whenever some cameras came around, something like that, I never froze up, never acted crazy, never slowed up. I just, I just that changed my life. As far as with the Yo, battle, let me tell you man. I got a funny story with Cassidy. Um, I remember my man Tank. Shout out to Tank. He was my manager. And uh, yeah. we were fucking with Double R for a minute. This is like 02. And I remember him saying, yo, we're going to Sony. Um, Cassidy got a session in there. I'm like, I know okay. where shit going. So like, <laughs> you know where it's going. going. So I'm like, fuck it, bro. I, I ain't going to lie. I was nervous as shit. Because I already know what type of time. You know what I'm saying? Cassidy's off. So I'm like, all right, we going to lock. Shit was even worse, my nigga. There was a crew of niggas in there. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Cassidy was doing the MOP and Styles. Uh, no, no. It was Styles was there. It was a Styles session. Sorry. Cassidy was there, though. It was MOP and Styles. They were doing that session, mixing that, and Cassidy was in there running around. See the yeah. Chain and everything. I'm like, yo, my nigga, they made me battle this kid, though. They cheese. Philly nigga. Beast. And uh, Cassidy <laughs> was there watching me. They'd be like, the craziest oh, niggas. Nice. They'd be the craziest MCs, the ones on the sideline. Shout out to Hakeem, bro. too, bro. He the, one that, he the one that brought me to Fight Club. I see him in the comments. Oh yeah, shout out to Hakeem Hakeem Green. Yo, you had a good support system, man. People, nah. they, they, they really messed with you at the Fight Club, man. I mean, well, yeah, know, that was yeah, that was club. an avenue. It was an avenue. I understand. It was like it wasn't no YouTube back then. It wasn't no uh, it wasn't no YouTube back then. It wasn't no SoundCloud. It wasn't none of that. It, oh, that was one of the no few avenues. That was one of the few avenues to like get heard. So. When, ha when Hakeem and Benny asked, or Hakeem really asked me, did I want to battle? Even though I wasn't a battle rapper per se, hell yeah, I'm a battle. Like, hell yeah. Like, hell yeah. Why, why, why wouldn't I do it? Like, like you know what I'm saying? I need to be heard. So that's why I say, like. Benny Boom. Shout out to Benny Boom, man. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Benny Boom, too. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. For sure, man. Oh, man. It's going to get yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy right, in there. So it was crazy in there. Okay, uh, had a process. yeah, they, uh, as far as the right, well, I, I'll say this like, you know, the, the Hakeem Benny Boom plug kind of got me around the audition. I, the first person I battled was Cardi, it got me kind of around the, the audition part. So I, I went in there and I, um, and I like listen to see if I, I went in there to see if I could do it. Like you know what I'm saying. I went in, there and I checked it out, and it seemed cool. It seemed like it seemed, it seemed like it wasn't that hard. And um, they asked, they lost the bad love for me the next week. I got a shout out Hakeem for that. He 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 was working extra hard trying to get us on back then. So, Cardi was my first guest on this. You know that. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. I ain't seen him that's in like, since that battle. Good thing to say about everybody, man. So it's crazy. So talk to me about that Cardi battle. How, how did that go? Um, it was, it was, it was, um, shout out to Cardi too, man, but it, it, it was just like the type of thirst and hunger I had to get on at that time. He's the first thing I was battling. Like, like, like I didn't even really realize that he was really like a MC in there. Like I just wanted to try to run through somebody like, you know what I'm saying? So I could really like get my, get my name. Early. They gave me somebody early. Yeah. He was nice. He was nice. He didn't win, but he was nice though. I, I, I liked him. Like, yeah, um, uh, Cardi was too sharp, man. He was just sharp early, early in the game. But I, but I seen it though. I seen like, I like the from the first night, I seen who that fight club like really belonged to. Like, who who was the guys in there? Like, uh, um, what's my boy name? Um, Nems? what's my boy? Nems is one that's fuck your life, right? 
Yeah, he was my second yeah. guest on this shit too. He yeah, Nem, like, no. like, you like go Nem's. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna definitely check it out. Like Nem's, he definitely was official. Um, Nem's was official. My boy O Solo from Jersey, he was crazy in there. Oh. Um, um, Forty Cal was crazy. Like it was just a bunch of people in there that just have that I knew that I, I seen who actually was the guys in there. So I just was like, yeah, I, I can compete with them. Let's go on. Let's go in there. And let's try to do it. French, French was a French was a guy in there too. French, yeah, French took my battle with Scar Child. I was right, supposed to battle. Yo. So, I'll, yeah. He took my battle, yeah. And then I ended up oh, battling Scar Child next week. How many battles you had in, in Fight Club? Uh, Scar Child, um, Avalanche, two two forty cows, four. I think I I think I battled six times. Six or seven times. All right, so what, let's walk through the Scar Child shit. The Scar Child nigga was crazy. He was crazy. He was crazy. I actually run it. I actually en ended up running into him afterwards. Like he's he's a cool dude too. Um, yeah, yeah. He. Uh, so who? Piff James and Sirius Jones is what Hawk is saying. Oh no no you know, oh no 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 yeah Piff James my boy Hawk and, and Sirius Jones yeah that's like my brother yeah. so yeah him too but he kind of oh, came man. after I came. He kind of came like towards the end of the um, he kind of came towards the end of the uh, my fight club run, Sirius Jones. But shout out to him too, man. Free him too. Yeah, free Sirius Jones. But that was supposed to be my next battle at fight club. I never went back though for other reasons. But shout out to Sirius, man. That would have been a goodie. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's actually he's like he's an animal. I, I, I actually, like he actually he actually got crazier with the battling. I think he's dangerous. Son is wild. He's, dangerous. Like, Oh, yeah, he's wild shit. dangerous with that shit. <laughs> yeah. So listen, I remember one night it was you and the it was the forty cows. I don't know, it was the first battle or the second battle. Okay. But well, um, walk me through the first one. Maybe I'll remember as you telling the story how the first one went down. The first forty cow battle, okay. Uh you asking me to go all the way back. Okay, that's uh all right, the first forty cow battle, we was um I got the call. Like I, I, I got the call. I knew one of the, somebody was gonna call, but I like some like one of those like dudes I said I named that was in there going crazy. I knew somebody was gonna call and want the battle, so I got the call. We did the battle. Um, the first battle, the first battle, I, I, I kind of, I kind of went off the handle because I felt like it shouldn't have went to the. Um, I felt like it, I felt like it wasn't. It shouldn't have went to overtime. Was his overtime first better? Was his overtime first better than mine? Yeah, it was. But it shouldn't have went to overtime. And then the you second like verse, I felt like I had him. I felt like I had him. But you know, it ain't up to me. It's up to the judges. In the second battle, I kind of feel was closer than what people think it was. Like a lot of people think that I just smashed him, but it wasn't like that. Like I feel like that battle was a lot closer. Like I, I listened to him in that second. Like you know. The first time you battling somebody, you know, you listening to them, you listening to them, but when you going through like a, uh, you when you going back to back, you got to rematch and re, you start listening to them, and I and I was like, son is nice, <laughs> like I knew he was yeah, nice, like was son crazy. was nice, was he's yeah, nice, and he's actually killing them right now. Like I watch, I, I just watched one of his battles the other day. He's actually killing, he's, he's killing it right now. He's battling. Um, I forgot who he's battling the next. Man. I wanted, I wanted him to battle um, Cassidy. I want him and Cassidy to go. They really. Uh, you said, you said, oh, him and Cassidy. Yeah, I want to see that. Like they got it that one. Yeah, oh yeah, they definitely do. I'm, I'm just saying, like you know, I think sometimes a lot of old niggas don't realize, they don't realize what type of animals, what, what type of animals, have mutated off of what started 20 years ago. Like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, a nah, whole new niggas. thing out here right now. Oh, yeah, there was a lot of niggas out there in them streets, man. And niggas, there's a lot of shit niggas don't know because there was, like you said, no internet, no, no YouTube. You had to yeah. be there. Like, niggas don't yeah, yeah. If, you, like, if you wasn't outside, yeah, if you wasn't outside, then you wasn't, listen, then you wasn't battling. So, where was the battle? Um, I put up a promo. Okay. With, you, with the, uh, with, it was you, International P, counting the money. Uh, okay. That was supposed to be you and 40, that was you and 40, right? I think that was either me and Forty or me and Avalanche. That was one of the two. I think the Avalanche one is the one that got the promo video. So that probably was that Avalanche battle. Where All it was right, like so about how much money bread. was on the line? It was a lot of money on that table, bro. Uh, I think we, we both put up 10 bands. 
He put up 10, I put up 10. So now, I, I'm going to keep it a buck. I've never battled anybody for that amount, for that amount of money. Okay. 10 bands is kill a nigga on the spot money, bro, back then, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you got to walk outside with that money, too, bro. You got to walk outside, get in your car, all that. What's the pressure like when you see, uh, boom, 10,000, 10,000 for, yo, uh, blah, 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 when the coin tours, you go first? I try not to think about the money. I try not to think about it, yo. That's a, that, that, that's the way that I mean. Like you got a more, you got you got a more. Or less be so confident in your own shit. I think that that I think that if they brought that back to battling, if they stop paying battlers and they start making battlers put their own bread up, then you then you gonna really see the animal come out of somebody. That's a fact, yo, bro. I never, yo, that's crazy. I never thought of that, my nigga. I'm telling you, because it's, it's it's more it's more or less. I mean. When or lose, when or lose, you're gonna give up. When or lose, you're gonna give a piss poor performance. You don't care. You're gonna get paid regardless. You may not and get paid. Right, 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 right. No, yeah. Right. I'm, I'm, the I'm, next I'm, time, but right. yeah, but you're gonna get paid regardless. A lot but of I get it though. Choke it, choke hmm? it. Not finishing um, rounds. Um, just not even probably writing the full three rounds because. I got the 30 bands. I got the 40 bands in the bank already. Like, why should exactly. I keep going? You know what I'm saying? But, but, but at the same time, though, a lot of these dudes built these fan bases over the years. So, like, they actually add something to your platform. So, it's like you kind of got It's kind of a catch-22. You kind of got to pay them. I kind of I, I kind of respect what Arsenal doing, too. Like, like, he created his own platform. Like, you know what I mean? So, that's like yeah. a, um, that's dope, too. Like it's like it's it's really it's no way to really kind of gauge it, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I thought about starting a battle league, man. I just don't want to administer. I just don't like dealing with rappers, my nigga. Like, yeah. <laughs> I tell me about. It. <laughs> I, I feel like dealing with rappers, my nigga. Everybody got a fucking <laughs> ego. Everybody's better than somebody. And meanwhile, nigga, you're not that hot, my nigga. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, but you, know. you gotta I understand. Get upset. When you a rapper, you the best in the world. Yeah, and every, every, everything revolves around you. That's crazy. Like, fuck all that, man. Like, you know, I've I reached out to a few niggas to do this. Yeah. Some niggas don't want to do it. Some niggas can't do it because they busy. Shout out to my man Goods, man. I want to get Goods up on here soon. Like, who the fuck is do. who the fuck is busy in the pandemic? <laughs> <laughs> well, nah. Shout out to Goods. Goods is shooting a movie. Shooting a movie. <laughs> oh yeah. Shout out. Oh yeah. Oh, that's my boy. Oh, that's the oh, that's who was busy. Oh, that's my boy right there. Shout out to him, yeah. Shout out to Goods, bro. Yeah, Goods is official, man. I fuck with son. son is a, he one of my he, he, man for the X nigga. You know what I'm saying? He actually, so, he actually one of my favorites. Yeah, he's he's top three. My top three is uh Goods, Mook, and probably Lux. Yeah, I mean you can't like yeah, you can't even go wrong with that top three. You can't even go wrong. Like, like, to me, Mook is crazy. Like, to me, like, he's, like, he's crazy. He's on another level with that battle. Like, he's on another level with that shit. Like, he deserves all the flowers that he gets. Like, he's he's that guy. Like, and he don't get I, it, man. Like, I wish when I was signed. saying this? A nigga like you. Yeah. I, I, I wish when I was signed, like, I had turned down a battle with Murder Mook. The battle that Sirius Jones did, I turned that battle down. Like I kind of wish I didn't what? listen to people who just did that shit. Yeah, I turned that battle down. I turned that battle down. So smacking, smacking book will verify that. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm saying smack, smack who called me about that battle, and I, t I turned it down because I turned it down because the music I was making didn't really reflect battling. But I probably would should have really did it anyway. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, but you know. You know, you think you win some, you lose some. It would have affected the situation. Uh, I don't think it would have affected my situation, but you know, I'm a, like, like, like you said, I'm a little older, so I seen when, um, I seen when, uh, I seen when Cannabis gave you somebody different on those mixtapes, and then tried to give you a different album, and it didn't really hit with people, people like him, like you know what I'm saying, who got these bars, but when they try to right. give you an introspective album. Because you're not giving them now those those punchlines and those, you're not giving them that same energy. They may not, they may not receive the music the same way. And um, and I wanted the album to be, 
I wanted the album to be what it was. Like for me trying to get on, remember no YouTube, none of that. I I you really used the Fight Club to to try to get my name known because I had been out there rapping on these street corners and rapping in these studios for years. So that was like a way for me to try to like to like get my name out there. So a lot of people don't understand that. People think that battling and making music is easy. No, it's a mindset. If you're in that battle mindset, that's what you're going to produce. Battle bars, battle music, like cannabis. And, it's and, hard and to get people out don't... And, 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 and when you build up... When you build up hundreds of thousands of fans from doing it, from doing battling, they want to see you battle. <laughs> they don't want to hear your right. music. They don't want to see you battle. <laughs> so it's like... So it's like, you know, like... When you when when you got a big check right here to do one thing, and the, and you want to do it to the best of your ability, and you got this new art form emerging, well, not new, but it's going to the TV screens and it's going places. Like it's like you at a crossroads of like, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna put all my energy into this? Or am I gonna put all my energy into that? Like you know what I'm saying? And um, either way, it would have been dope though. Either way, e either decision's a good one. Today, like you know, what I mean, because as you said, we just said, people get paid to battle and rap. Even, even anyway, they don't gotta bring their own bread. Right, 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 right. Um, you was in a good situation though. You was on Def Jam, correct? Yes, yes. Bam. So you get on Def Jam now. Yeah. So a whole different plateau now. This is all battle thing is over. It's a whole different mindset. You got the good people behind you. Tell me what that was like. Like you know. Was it pressure? Was it like what did you feel? It was what mad pressure. Like it was it, it was mad pressure because it was an odd situation because like most people think that I got on because I was battling, but that ain't how I got on. I got on because I had a demo tape and I performed the demo tape. That's how I got on. They didn't even know I was battling. They didn't know wow. nothing about it until the Fight Club DVD and all that shit came out. They didn't even know. Right. And so like it more or less like, you know, like I didn't get signed for battling. I got signed because of some songs I made and the people that were running the Def Jam at the time, they liked them and they really liked them. They believed in them and they wanted me to do more and that really what it was about. It wasn't so now I got this check over here. I'm putting my own money up battling over here. <laughs> like, you know, I'm trying to get my name right, out right, there right. and I and I got a check right here to do something else. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was, um, I mean, Def Jam's a good thing, man. I, I, I was a kid. I didn't really know. I, I didn't really know what I was doing up there, like you know, say as far as the business and the administrators and, the, and all that type shit. Yeah, you was young. But it was. I was young, yeah. But it was um, a great experience. The validation was definitely. Prodigy. Huh? Got to work with Prodigy. Well, I worked with Prodigy before that. That's what I'm saying. Like, see, like, like, like Prodigy was like I got to meet him when. I started taking meetings running around and I got to meet him in the studio and we started doing songs that we really clicked in. So it was, it was basically, it was like 2004 things started coming together for me. Like I did the fight club and the people was getting on my name from that. Then I met prodigy and then uh Hawk and them took me up to Def Jam. And then it just took me to the whole other, like Hakeem's one took me to Def Jam too. Shout out to him. He got me that deal. That's the man right there, man. That's he, he put me in front. He put me in front of Jay Z and L.A. Reid. He did that. Shout out to him, Hold man. That's, that's See, my big I'm brother. Getting, Hold up a sec. I'm getting to know you as this goes. So you was in front of the guard. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Like I was on with him the first day. The first day he took that job, I was with him. Wow. So that first. Holy word. word. Nigga, that's what it's like my height, like the hip hop guard. So you mean official? Yeah, official, like official guard. Just imagine. So you got to yep. rap for this guy, right? You rapping for Jay Z. What's going through your mind as you? Uh, by that by that time, bro, I've been rapped. I didn't. It was like my. It was like a video game. Like you got to pass the first board and go to the second board and go to the <laughs> third board and go to the fourth board. Like by that, that time, bro, I rap for I rap for Tata and all the A and R's in the morning. Then we did somebody else, and then Skane told me don't leave New York, and then I was like, you know what I mean. And then, then we we performed up there two times that day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then that night, we did it again. Shout out to the whole crew, too. The whole Gorilla Pimp crew. Shit. We did that shit again. And um, and uh, and he just fucked with us. He liked He fucked with it. He liked it. He fucked with us. Yo, bro. You, um, 
You're a talent, bro. You're a talent. Word. Appreciate like, that. I appreciate that. I always like your aggressiveness. And um, I will never forget the day when you looked at me and you said, yo, you battling? I said, yeah. He was like, you just looked at me like, I hope it ain't you. And I was... <laughs> I was oh, like, yeah, I was on some bullshit back then. That's what I'm saying. You know, I'm a... I knew, but I liked it. I, said, I, I was on some bullshit back then. <laughs> with the shit. I said, like, okay. But, um, nah. so, boom, hold. Right. So, you get through yeah. that. Um, he's loving it. Got old bopping, making the faces yeah. and everything. But you knew you was in. But he was, yeah, but he was, like, loving the, he, I, you know what is crazy? He was loving the demo tape being performed with the battle rap progression. That's what he loved. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was loving the, the, the demo tape being performed with the battle rap progression. That type of shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I think. And advice he gave you? Uh, advice? Yeah, he gave me a little advice on when I was making my album. He gave me little tips, little pointers, little things about some of my songs and little shit. Yeah, he. I was. I mean, but I but was I hanging out with him and shit. Nah, but but you know what I'm saying. But when I got with him, no, it was always love. Like that's why I'll never. People always try to get me to say bad shit about him, but he ain't never. He always kept it one million with me, so that's why I'll never. I could never say anything bad about that nigga. That's politics, man. That's what politics do, man. Yeah. So you um you put out an album on the Def Jam? I didn't. It got the album eventually. Um, the album eventually never came out. Got shelved or whatever. And um, I stayed on there for like four years, and then I got released. So on this album, tell me um what the what the work was like, the body of work, like any features? Uh, any yeah, I had features. I had Fab. I had um uh. <sighs> Fab production like J.R. Rodham, I had uh, Fred Rick, I had Top Five. Shout out to Top Five. We work. We probably working on something new, man. We've been talking about it like two old men for the last year. So I'm gonna probably try to, yeah, uh, Top Five. Um, Bank. Um, yeah, 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 shout out yeah. to Bank. He gave me a crazy banger, Buju Bantan. I actually, I actually, after some years, I ended up, I ended up just putting the album out myself. It's on, it's on, it's on um, iTunes. You can check it out. I gotta go check that out. So, what did that body yeah. of work mean to you at that time? Like when you, you put in this. Uh, I liked it. It was um, I got to work with Patty Labelle and these people. So, like, it was like a um, the shit was. It was like. It was just like, it was dope. It was a, the the process of making it. I made it all out here. I, I I don't live in L.A. I live in the Bay Area, but I made it all in L.A. It was dope. Um, everybody came through. He laid. I, I got to work with Nate Dog before he died. Like, Nate Dog. Every, yeah, everything was just like um, it, it was the way I wanted it. <laughs> like it was the way I wanted it. I can't even lie. I had it my way. I, I'm not even gonna say it's done. Um, any relationships still like with, with the, from the people that helped you on your album? Uh, yeah, I talked to a lot of the producers. Um, when I see them, all the producers. Um. As far as the rappers, if I see them, yeah, it's cool. If I see them, it's cool, but it's not. It's not like we all hang out. Whoever I see, whoever I, see, yeah, whoever I see, if I bump into them, it's always love. Bro. It's always, it's always love. Where you been at? Where you going? What's up? When, when, when something coming out? I mean, have I got, have I got to see Patty Labelle again? Nah, <laughs> like nah. That was, that was a one and only time. Yeah, that's yo. That's listen, man. You gotta um. Got a dope story to you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a lot, man. Well, we did a lot. Documentary or something, man. Yeah, I was working on something, man. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to work on some new music too, man. Some new music. I was gonna get into and that. And me and my team Sam was trying Scarf. to work. Huh? I was. What a nigga like Sam Scarfo doing today? Like, what's 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 on the agenda? Oh, right now, man. I'm a shit. Sam Scarfo is a dad right now. <laughs> dad Scarfo right now. Man. Oh, uh, I got a daughter in college. I got two twins on the way to college. Fucking, I got um, twin boys. I got uh, I'm doing music. I do. Uh, I'm trying. I'm, I'm doing some things with the, with the cannabis community thing. So, hey, I'm working, man. I'm working. I'm about, I'm about, to, I'm about to come holler at you in the bay, man. Like what? Up? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm hustling, man. I'm working, man. So, legal you things too, man. Legal, legal, legal things. Legal things. <laughs> Right, right, right. Shit done changed. Shit done changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the state of hip hop today is definitely okay. a whole fucking. It's a, it's a whole turnaround from when we was out here. Cardi, what else? Definitely, Cardi. Definitely, definitely, definitely. It's a whole. It's definitely a whole turnaround from what it from what it kind of used to be. 
It used to be like a, um, but you know, the turnaround's not that bad though. Like, you it's know, not. it it's 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 kind of like a a poor. It's kind of like a pill that that's that's just infecting the whole. Um, it's it's like a pill infecting the whole. Like now, it's way more chambers of hip hop right now. It's not right. just one. It's not just one type of hip hop. And I think that right there. I think that right there is a um, is a good thing. Hold on, bro. Your mom left. Oh, she's in there. All right. Cardi, we see you, kid. Shout out to everybody in the room, man. Talking about home yes. boy, Sam, Yeah, shout out to Cardi, bro. Yeah, he in there. He in there. I ain't, but, uh, um... Let's see. Let's speak to Cardi. Y'all, was the last time you even had contact with Cardi? Bro, I think I might have seen him. I think I, I... Maybe I seen him once after the, um... Maybe I seen him once after the, uh... Maybe I seen him once after the Fight Club, but um, nah, nah, I ain't seen him, bro. I, I, he was nice. He definitely was nice. I, yeah, I it was a, it was a dude I battled after him that wasn't really nice like that, but he was Who's nice that? though. Bro. I don't remember his name. I'm trying. <laughs> I've been trying to remember his name for years. Oh, <laughs> bro, I don't know. When I found out it was a process to get up there, I didn't even know how he got that far, bro. Man, listen, man. Look, Cardi laughing. Yo, yo, listen. All right, so going back to music, it's different. Um, a lot of the youth dying. A lot of yeah. the youth dying. Of it, uh, the drugs or the violence. Shit wasn't like that when we was coming up, bro. Like, we had it good, man. We was out there innocent, doing our music shit, coming home, living to tell about it. Yeah, man. I feel like it's um like OTs is not playing a back with these kids or what you what you think it is? I think it's um I think it's uh now now you got a second? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I th yeah I th this is real right here. Okay. I think it's um I think it's it's I think it's it's the fascination right now with a, with rappers, but but this fascination don't really come from our community like that. It's a fascination with rappers that really live that life from people that don't really live from those areas. So you figure like you know like the, the you figure like most people that that consume hip hop, you know, all America consumes hip hop, and they got this fascination with the rapper that smells and feels real. Like you know what I'm saying? They got a fascination with that, and um, and I don't think it's nothing wrong with that. I don't think it's nothing wrong with that. But if a lot of rappers would have got questioned, like in the early '90s, you probably wouldn't know. Some of your favorite rappers probably wouldn't be here. So it's like you gotta like, and I think that kids are now trying to. They know that these labels are capitalizing off the ignorance, so they trying to like you know, they in the ignorance content. Yeah, Ain't ignorance context, right. bro. And, 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 and like, like to me, these kids, you know, they're not even really dealing with the pressures of the crack era and all this, and they're not dealing with the things that we dealt with. They just, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying it's a different it's thing out here. Like, I don't understand how they became the users, like, because because they're using this rap music, bro. They're using this rap music to promote that shit, man. It's sad, but. I mean, using back then, niggas was promoting crack, dope, or type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And none of us, bro, because we grew up, bro, we grew up seeing crackheads everywhere. We, yo, you grew, we grew up seeing crackheads everywhere. We got crackhead uncles probably stole from your mother, crackhead brother stole from somebody, crackhead cousin aunt. That's the lowest form of. That's the lowest form of a person. To people in our generation, like you know what I'm saying, so we right. look at it different. Right, right, right. I think it lost its value as the years went on. Like motherfuckers just stopped caring. Yeah, because they stopped. Bro, my son's kid, my kids don't know what a crackhead look like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't <laughs> never seen one. Yo, that's crazy though. My daughter's older than Pop Smoke. She never, she don't know what a crackhead look like. She never seen one. She just, she just hears about it on Snowfall in these movies and watch The Wire, and she don't know what that shit is though. Nah, she don't know. She wasn't in that era, man. Like, and that, yeah. you know, oh man, like it's good that kids don't got to see that. 
But it's also good for them to know, like, listen, this is what this could be used. For real, for real, son, for real. The nigga, look at him, no shirt, look at his bones, look at his... Yeah, this nigga just broke in my house, nigga. Stole some Christmas lights in the fucking VCR. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, they ain't seeing... Yo, they ain't seeing all this low... They ain't seeing all this low-bottom shit we, we, we grew up seeing. So that's that's why that's why they that's why they don't view drugs the same way. I wanted to ask you know? this because it's becoming a topic. If you okay. don't want to talk about it, it's fine. The six nine situation, him being in Brooklyn okay. shooting a video. Okay. What you think? Um, I didn't uh, really. See, I, I, I did see him on. I seen him on live. I seen the live on some. On one of these dudes shared it. What do I feel about him doing the video in Brooklyn? Um, Is he bugging? Is he bugging? He's stepping out of line, like. Bro, he playing with people. That's what I feel. He he fire. just pl like not, like he just playing not not so much playing with fire. He playing with um not so much playing with fire. He's playing with like um he playing with like people. Like he like like he playing with like the people, yo. Like he know that people are gonna react to him going outside and doing things. So I just think that he does it. To see the waves move, to see the you know what I'm saying, to move the ocean. He knows the That's, price of shock value. Yeah, he knows the price of shock value, and and shit, we could talk about him. For, so we could talk about him too. I don't feel like he should have even like I don't know, <laughs> like I don't know, man. He was, I come I from a, I come from a different era, bro. I'm not doing no I'm not doing no criminal shit with this guy in the car with me. I'm not doing none of that. Like you know what I'm saying? Like what? Right, 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 right. This nigga's getting me millions of dollars. What am I? What am I doing? So you think and, the homies? You think the homies? Fuck that bag up. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, um. You, you know what though? Let me say this. As a dude, as a nigga, that, as a, as a guy my age, yes, I'm gonna tell you. I think that. Somebody, if I was a little younger, I probably have a different opinion. But somebody like him, who's making hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, you think them is the only street niggas in the industry that got a rapper? Yes, so you think them is the only street? You think them is the only street niggas? In, you know, let me ask all your people that's listening to this. You think that's the only street nigga in the game, a rapper in the game that some street niggas put the money up for and they standing behind them? Nah, that's a lot of niggas. Everybody else know how to protect the money, right? Right, right, <laughs> like, right, right. Bro, if I had that nigga sign, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wouldn't have had that nigga do it. Nothing. <laughs> Keep him clean. Cast the check. Cast the check. Keep talking shit. Right, man. Like, it was, don't fix it if it ain't broken. Exactly. Listen, man. It's, um, I don't know, man. I just, I don't wish death on nobody, man. I just. I don't wow. wish death on nobody either. It, it, it does, it does, it does put a clown, it does put a, it does put a clown veil. It does put a clown veil on. It does put a clown veil on hip hop, though. It's different. It puts a, it puts a clown veil. He puts a clown veil on hip hop. It does. It's hip hop a, is not taking. It's a young man's sport. I don't think that um the young people know the value of what snitching and not snitching is. Like, you already know that's a no no. We grew up. That's a no no, my nigga. Like, that's just. I can't go to jail, talk, and leave my moms out here in the ghetto for a nigga to. Bro, he's got harm. Bro. Or, you, like, you got fed. Like, it's just. As morally, it's wrong, nigga. If you playing in the street, you know the rules. Mm -hmm. nigga. And no, um, I'm just, he, he ain't, you know, he ain't about. He I'm ain't, just saying. I just, I'm just saying. To each his own. I saw see my cousin there. He said, "Don't get trapped in those questions." Nah, listen. I'm not getting trapped in those questions. I'm just saying. I wouldn't do that. Like you know what I'm saying. Like me, I, I, I wouldn't do that. Different. Like you know what I'm saying. I wouldn't. I would still be out here getting bread off that nigga if it was me. That's what I'm saying. Let's get back to you, though. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're you working on music, right? Yeah. What's up with Benny Boom? He, he's still around shooting videos? Uh, yeah, he's doing his thing. I mean, I haven't talked to Benny in a, in a while, but, yeah, he's doing his thing. I talked to Hawk more. He's not, I mean, I don't have anything against Benny, though. Let me let, let, let me just say that. We're, we are 100% cool. It's just, uh, you know, he's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. He's doing his, uh, I've seen him do, he's doing videos, movies, everything. Benny Benny doing everything. Boom, like hmm? Benny Boom, back in the day, like, yo, this Benny Boom, man. Like, this nigga used to put movies together in these videos, man. Yeah, he doing everything. Benny Boom doing everything, man. 
You got to snatch him back up. Get him back in. I got to get back together, man. Yeah, if I ever, for, for sure, for sure. Like, like if, if I ever had something and I needed him, I would definitely hit him. I would try. I would try his chin. For sure, I would try his chin. So what product, what producers you working with now, like, as far as new uh, projects? For, for most of the time, when, I, when I'm doing something, I do it with, like, well, my last album I did was Ski Beats. I put that out in 2015. Okay. And, um... Uh, top Fife is like the top Fife and, and, and my and my and my homeboy delivery boy. He give me a lot of beats. Them is like them is like the main two producers, the main three that I probably get beats from. I mean, I take beats here and there from other people, but for for the most part, those are the three. So you got when when is the new project dropping? I ain't got no date yet. I'm still working, man. Yeah, I don't I don't do the date. Date. Whatever's finished, date. get this shit when when ready. You don't go exactly. in the kitchen and ask wife your mom in love when the food gonna be done. When it's done, nigga. I do want to. Uh, I do want to put out a lot of the music that I didn't. I, I never released over the years. I got tons of music I never released. So, oh, get to I, it, I, brother. Like you don't say that's. Yeah, I'm thinking about that. I'm definitely thinking about doing that. You should though. I think you should keep that young Sam Scarfo guy alive because he's he's alive in that music. You know what I'm saying? This is a new guy right now that I'm looking at. It's an old nah. Guy. You know what I'm <laughs> That, nah, for sure. Over. I know you're gonna listen to that and you think back like, damn, that hunger was different. Yeah, well, well, well yeah, wait. Well, that's the thing you can't never get back. I mean, you can't never get that back. If they could, if they could bottle that shit up and sell it, it'd be on the market for millions of dollars. You can't never get that shit back. Right. But, but though, I love it though. Like you know what I'm saying. So I still love it. I still write raps. A lot, like you know what I'm saying. I still record and don't never. I got freestyles all in my car that nobody heard but me. Like you know what I'm saying. I still do it. I think you can post those on your page, man. Card yeah, for sure. Some, some yeah, sometimes I do. Sometimes I do it. If you look on my page and go back, you'll see I did it a couple times. Sometimes I do it. You know what? I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do one, bro. I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna post one of them shits, bro. I'm gonna tag yeah, you yeah, with nah, it too. We need that, man. We need that old Sam Scar folks. Yeah, we saw that shit. But um. I appreciate this interview too, bro. Huh? I appreciate this interview too, bro. No, I had to, man. I was telling niggas, like, I'm only reaching out to niggas, again, who was there? Like, Shells. My man's been big up the Shells. Uh, big up the Shells too. He's another one. Yeah. Last from the past. Shells. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> big up to him. God, That's yeah, he bro, was there when we did our smack shit. Don't ever be about music. <laughs> You're just speaking. It's just life, bro. It's just life. Yeah, that's just me, though, my nigga. Like, if I, you know, I, a lot of times I meet artists and celebrities, and I don't even talk music. I'll be just more in tune into what who the nigga is behind the music. Like, you know what I'm saying? I tell you, I tell you this though. My favorite battle rapper right now is uh, Hollow the Don. I like him. I like Hollow the Don. He was. I, 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 I think. I, I think his flow is like. He like he's one of the he, he if he was a boxer he would be Prince Nassim. He hits you with that punch from nowhere. It's gonna hit you yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. If it had to go down, Hollywood the Dawn versus Mook, who you got? Woo! I gotta see it. <laughs> I gotta see it. I gotta see it. That's a that's, that's a hard one. That's supposed to be in the works. That's supposed to be in the works. <laughs> I gotta see it. I got that that I I never like I never really seen that nigga Mook lose. I mean, I didn't see all his battles though. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say I seen every battle, but when I see him, when I see him battling, I see him. He he shows out. He shows out. I think um, I know my man Cardi wanted to bite Mook's head off, man. Like they had, they had, they had a battle. Man. Um, I think oh yeah, Mook, yeah, they 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 battled. We gotta watch Cardi. Then Cardi was talking some shit, man. I was like, damn, like. Party though, yeah. man. That's that's one of my favorite niggas right now, and I'm not just saying that because I know the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like oh, he put put the crime from the bottom. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and to hear what this nigga sound like today, I don't know if you heard what he sounds like recently. This kid is a fucking manimal, bro. Nah, send me his Instagram. I'm going. I'm gonna follow him. I'm gonna check it yeah, out. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm, you gonna see? He probably done followed you already. Like he's he's just that type of nigga. Like he, you know. He respect the real, and I, I like him that he, he, uh, he, he became just, just like, uh, he don't probably always been a nice guy, but, you know, he's always been this 
just a, like a cool nigga. Like you're gonna gravitate, and I want y'all energies to match, my nigga. Like I want y'all niggas to click in. Nah, it's good. That's good. I link with anybody, bro. I link with anybody, bro. Facts, man. Facts, facts. But let me ask you something though. If they ask, if they offer you the bag to get back on the on the battle stage, what'd you do? Mm, would I do it? I was gonna do it, right? I was gonna, I, yeah. like, I, 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 all right, all right. Would I do it? Uh, yes, I would do it. But it has to be like the right person, the right everything. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I would do it. I would do it just to do it. Like why not? I would do it. But so you guys said, like no. Sam Scott. <laughs> like I remember. Um. I would do it. He's nice. He's nasty too. I would do it though. I would do it. I would do it. He's nasty, but I would do it though. I would do it. He probably he probably be licking his chops to do some shit like that. I would do it. Like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I would definitely do it. I would definitely do something like that. But it's um, you know, well, to me it's like this, like and, and Sirius Jones. If you ever speak, if you ever get back and get with him and speak to him, he'll tell you. Like, when they had the Legends battle, right, <coughs> like, five, six years ago. What was it, six years ago, something like that? I was, um, they didn't contact me for it. I get, I get, I get it. Like, you no, know, no, I'm not tripping about it, but we went out, but I, but I still went there. I still went. And when I went there, Star, I seen Star in there. Star was like, yo, he was like, yo, man, what you ain't, what you, why you ain't battling, bro? I want you to battle somebody. Yo, battle Charlie Clips, bro. I'm giving you 4,000 right now. Battle him. I was just like, uh, I didn't took the four thousand to do it. Like, like, like you know, I'm honest, I took it. But here's the thing, though: if you paying these other niggas, these other niggas, you call legends twenty thousand, thirty thousand. What the world? I'm giving to, I'm giving my opponent a whole round to talk about how they paid me twenty times less. Like, I'm not doing that. Right. I'm not doing well, that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. And you know what I'm saying? And and that's why I say it gotta be the right person, bro. I don't want nobody dry snitching on me and all this whole other shit and these, and these raps. <laughs> Yo, some of these some of these niggas do go crazy and do a lot of dumb shit in this rap shit, bro. Like I gotta know who I'm battling. I got it's like all that. Yeah, the battle, it, it, I don't know, it's not the same anymore, man. I, I really lost the passion for that. That was one of my things I thought I'd never <coughs> lose. We get older. We um the passion shifts. Music is big. You know, you could stop rapping today and become the dopest producer tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. It's big. You could do whatever. You could um I'm saying it's so much it's so many lanes created in hip hop right now, like you could not miss a beat. You could not miss a beat, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, you could you don't have to be rapping to get bread doing rap to, to get money in hip hop music. For sure. That's super fat. So you out of the bay. Does, yeah. does this play you in the bay um, does this play a, um how much of a role does it play in your music? Or like a what big kind a of big role does it have or? a big role because um I'm actually I'm actually working with a lot of artists out here. Not with my own shit, more like with their shit. It's like a um in the Bay Area, it's kinda like a um, an industry within the industry out here. It's like their own little like, it's stars out here that, that nobody knows. Like, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. They have their own kind of thing here. So I'm, I'm over here exploring that, maybe trying to cross somebody over and take them to our world and, you know, and, and, and introduce right. them to that, like do things like that. I'm doing a lot of stuff, man. I got, I got the studio here. We working. Dope, 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 man. Yeah, man, plug whatever you got. To plug I don't want to hold up any more of your time. I know it's afternoon Bro. over there. You know what I'm saying? It's about to be what? Bro. Six o'clock? Well, shit. It's, 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 it's about to be six. It's about to be six. It's up. Uh, shit, I ain't even got nothing to plug, bro. I ain't got nothing. I'm, I'm, I don't got nothing dropping right now. I ain't got no battle coming up. I don't got nothing. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, be the on the list. Post up the old battles from Fight Club. Post that. Be on the. Yeah, be on the lookout though. I'm gonna drop something soon though. I just gotta just get it. I just gotta finish putting it together. I ain't got no date yet though. No date, no date Yo, yet. Yo, Scarfold, great dude. You've been a great dude from the jump. I love appreciate you, work you ethic, man. And I reached out for that reason, bro. Like you just been a a a 
a bright nigga from the jump. Like once I saw you in Fight Club, I said, "This is the motherfucking beast in here." You know what I'm saying? So um, appreciate that, that man. man. My nigga, like, keep pushing. Shout out to Hawk. He was in here showing love. Keep that man in your corner because he believe in you, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, know. sir. That's my big brother. I love that guy. Shout out to him, man, and um, much more success. Many blessings to you. Blessings yes. to the kids and the family. Stay safe. Yes. And, uh, yes, brother, yes. Don't get lost in this fucking music thing, man. Keep us posted on whatever you're doing, bro. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. I see you all live. I'm going to tap in from, 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 from now up, from here and there. I'm going to tap in. You already know, bro. Anything you need, producers, whatever you need, I, I can help you. You let me know, man. I'll I send them your way. I got you, bro. If you got some producers, yeah, send them this way. I got you. I definitely will. I definitely will. All I'm right. Get off this shit and DM some people to you. All right, for sure, for sure. Yeah, for know, sure, bro. my nigga. All right, you too, bro. One. All right, one. All right. Real cool dude right there, man. Shout out to everybody in the live, everybody from the West Coast. See everybody in here. Shout out to my man Sam Scarfo, man. Real cool nigga. He was about his business. Y'all already know what type of time it is. Battle Rap Talk, Episode 4, Sam Starfo. Stay tuned, because it's going to get nasty.